Hey dolls and gents, what is going on tonight? I hope that everyone is having a great night. I decided to come here today and just talk about some of my favorites of this month, my May favorites. I know it's a little bit early, but I felt like recording this, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's first start off with the shoes. My favorite pair of shoes for the month of May are these turquoise sandals from Target. And these are just super cute and they're also very comfortable and I got them on sale for I think it was like 20, 21 bucks, something like that. But these are super adorable. It definitely adds a pop of color to any outfit and these are super summer and spring ready. So I love these shoes. If you have not checked out your Target yet, definitely check them out for these and I think they also have them in black in like a darker blue color. So. I love these. My favorite piece of jewelry this month is from Jewel Mint. It's from my April showroom. I purchased it from my April showroom. And it is the Shanghai Eclipse Necklace. And basically, this is just a black circular necklace. And then it has some faux diamond detailing right around it. And I really love this piece because it's like a classic piece. It definitely would jazz up any little black dress or any outfit that you would have when you go out. I wouldn't say that this is a very casual piece. It's more on the classic and dressier side, but I love this necklace. I've been wearing it a ton this month. And if you have not checked out this necklace from Jewel Mint, or if you are not subscribed to Jewel Mint, you definitely need to be because they come out with such cute things every month. You can't miss out on it. I'll have the Jewel Mint link down below so you guys can go check it out. I really had to mention this in my favorites video this month. I purchased the Clarisonic at the end of April and I have been using it twice a day ever since. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and mine is just in a baby pink color. Now I had the eye skin from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And I had been using that, and I kind of stopped using it because I needed a replacement head for it. But they didn't have it in stores, and I didn't feel like ordering it online. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Clarisonic because a lot of people have talked about how their skin has improved, especially when you wear makeup. Like, I've realized that I wasn't completely taking off my makeup. My makeup wipes and my cleanser alone were not taking off all of my makeup, which really gets down into your pores and can really cause some serious breakouts and clog pores. So ever since I've been using this, I've definitely noticed an improvement in the texture of my skin and the size of the pores on my skin. And I've also noticed an improvement in the discoloration in my acne marks. It's helping to actually fade them away a little bit more. So this, like I said, is an investment, but it is well worth it, and I'm so glad I purchased it this month. I definitely had to mention it in my favorites video. I love Since it. we're on skincare, I also want to mention the Neutrogena Clear Face Sunscreen Protector. This is a sunblock made specifically for your face. It claims that it won't break out your face because a lot of sunscreens tend to be very oily and they can break out your skin. I did not have a problem with this. And if you've watched my previous videos, then you know that I've used a sunscreen by Skin Authority. And it's SPF of 30, but this one is SPF of 55. So this protects my skin a lot more. And I've been using this. I used to not use sun protectant. But ever since I've been using sun protectant, I've noticed that my acne scars are fading more quickly because I am also protecting my face from them getting darker from the sun. So sun protectant is very important, you guys. I love this one. They also have this one in SPF of Next, I want to talk about these makeup wipes. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's the Yes to Carrot Soothing Makeup Wipes. And I got these at Target. They came with two for the price of one. So I was like, what the heck, I'll go ahead and try it. It has cucumbers and aloe vera in it. And I just love this for taking off my makeup at night. I'll quickly take off my facial makeup. I'll go in with my eye makeup remover and then I'll use my Clarisonic. And that's pretty much my nighttime routine, guys. Okay, before we get into makeup, let's talk about my favorite 
perfume of the month, and that would be the Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Ooh La La perfume. I absolutely love this perfume. It smells so good. It smells like sexiness in a jar, if there's such a thing. It's so sweet. It's so fruity, kind of cake candy smelling. I really love this fragrance. And I also have it in the body mist. I love using these two together. Every time I wear this perfume, people are like, oh my gosh, she smells so good. What are you wearing? Nine times out of ten, it's this or it's my Aqualina Pink Sugar. My favorite lip gloss of the month is this e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss. This one is in mauve. This is a dollar. I'm wearing it on my lips today. I mean, you can't beat a lip gloss for a dollar. I definitely will be purchasing a ton of these because I love them. My favorite blush this month is the Milani Baked Blush. This one is in Red Vino. It is a gorgeous red blush and it has gold veinings throughout it. So it adds a sheen to your skin. This is perfect for my deeper complexion ladies. So if you do not have this blush, definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think about it. My favorite highlighter this month, anytime it's spring or summer, I've got to have a highlighter on because it looks so gorgeous when it your skin just hits the sun. It just reflects and it shines. I love that. So I've been loving this Milani. It's a baked bronzer, but I don't use this as a bronzer. I use this as a highlighter. And this one is in Glow 04. I'm wearing it on my cheekbone right now. It is super gorgeous. It adds such a sheen to the skin. I definitely love this. If you're of a lighter complexion, you can use this as a bronzer. And if you're my complexion, darker or a little bit lighter, you can use this as a highlighter. Makeup, setting sprays, or any kind of facial mists are excellent in the summer and springtime. I've been using this Evian Finishing Spray. This one is just, it's just water and you spray it on your face just to rehydrate it and to refresh your makeup and your face. I put this in my purse every day. I cannot live without this. I love it. I decided to try out two of the Black Opal Deluxe finishing powders and these are the oil control formulas. So it definitely helps with oil on the skin and I really have been loving these. This has definitely become a part of my regular makeup routine when I do wear makeup. I've been using shade 03 medium underneath my eye area as just like a highlight. This has been replacing my CoverGirl Translucent Powder and Translucent Honey. Who would have ever thought I would replace that with something else? So I've been loving this. And for those of you who tried the CoverGirl Loose Powder and Translucent Honey and you were upset because it had shimmer in it, try this. This has no shimmer, so it's not going to reflect. It's definitely going to be all matte. And it's oil absorbing, so you're not going to have any trouble with oil on your skin. And for all over color, I've been using Deep 05, and I'm wearing both of these shades today. I'm not wearing any liquid foundation today. I'm wearing just these and a little bit of concealer. I absolutely love these powders. If you do not have these black opal powders, I would definitely recommend them. Try them out, you guys. I got mine from Rite Aid. The last item that I want to talk about today is the Sedona Lace Brush. This one is 480. And this is a part of the Midnight Lace Synthetic Brush Set. I have the other three brushes here. I have not used these as of yet, but I am absolutely loving this one for liquid foundation. It really just buffs in the product. And since it's synthetic bristles, it's not going to hold on to your makeup. It's going to allow the product to go onto the face and to easily buff it in. So I really love this brush. If you have not tried out the Sedona Lace Synthetic Midnight Lace Brushes, I would definitely recommend this one. I don't know about the other three yet because I haven't tried them, but I absolutely love this brush. I don't have a favorite purse of the month. If you guys were wondering, oh my gosh, she's not talking about a handbag. I have just been kind of picking up a handbag and then throwing it into another bag. I've just been using a ton of handbags this month. I don't particularly have a favorite this month, so I decided not to include a hand. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my favorites video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.